It's day two of China's punishment war games around Taiwan, as a part of which China staged missile strikes, used bombers to set up several attack formations in waters east of Taiwan, carried out mock attacks in coordination with naval vessels, conducted mock attacks on foreign vessels, practiced how to seize total control of areas west of the first island chain, and tested its ability to seize power and control key areas of Taiwan. China used its navy, air force, rocket force and military to conduct drills three days after Taiwan's new president, Lai ching te took office. China has labelled him a dangerous separatist. CCTV even released this animated video showing missiles being launched that go on to target cities like Taipei and Kaohsiung. It's not the first time China has conducted these kind of drills. The last time was in 2022, soon after former US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taipei. But what's different this time? So the fact that it's closer to Taiwan coast this time around appears to reflect the growing confidence of the Chinese military because ever since the Pelosi visit and the first uh, sharp sword exercise in 2022, we have seen uh, the Chinese military exercising more often of the eastern seaboard of Taiwan. So I think that is the sort of a build up uh, from that series of training uh, experiences leading up to this. Um, and at some point, you know, my concern is that this could lead to just accidental conflict. That, you know, China may not be intending to do this, it may not be wanting to get into war, but the fact that it gets closer and closer to that line, at some point, Taiwan just has to say, look, we can't let you into our territory, and we need some ability, some buffer to be able to respond to that. I mean, in a way, Beijing, while trying to saber rattle at Taiwan, is also appearing to be mindful of international repercussion. So that is uh, very likely the, the, the sort of intention behind that. And some pointed out that the exercise has yet to involve live firing, so it might not have been the scale that would have been seen back in 2022. But do drills like these intimidate or simply help make Taiwan's resolve stronger? Typically, though, these things kind of backfire. Um, uh, when these exercises happen, they tend to drive political support to the green side of Taiwanese politics. Uh, and I mean, just generally speaking, you know, after Hong, uh, after Hong Kong and, and 2019, um, there's just no interest in Taiwan whatsoever for any kind of unification. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more news updates.